Welcome to what feels like the ultimate celebration of the lovely oriental lilies that we grow in our garden, often inspired by displays like this that we see at flower shows and in garden centres all around the UK. So here we go, here's um, one of our kind of lily corners um, here in the garden and all those lilies you can see to the left and the right of the picture are all growing in pots. Here's one of the earliest flowering varieties um, this is probably in flower by late June, Viva La Vida. Um, highly perfumed, contrast yellow and red there in the petals and great for cutting and using in the house uh, as a cut flower. Just a week or so later then come the huge, huge flowers. I mean they are as big as my hand at a stretch and lots, <laughs> look at that, lots and lots of flowers and uh, again a fantastic um, perfume on uh, are those big, big uh, flowers there. Just around the corner, um, more intricate designs on these flowers with stripes of yellow and orange and red against the white background and little kind of freckles of, of kind of orangey brown as well. That's garden party, a lovely celebration of summer colour and perfume. And this is probably the classic, the most famous of all the oriental uh, lilies known as stargaze, I noticed how uh, the flowers kind of point upwards as if, as if they're staring at the, um, at the stars and releasing that intoxicating perfume onto our patio. This is a lovely one with a white flower and a nice pink edge there, known as the edge, named after my favourite rock guitarist. As the buds start to open they look a bit like tulips there with those kind of curved petals and then they burst open in clusters of um, uh, white and pink and a little bit of hint of yellow in the uh, in the kind of the, um, the center of the flower as well. Look at that good looking bloke there. I don't know who he is but that is one of our tree lilies and they get a good two meters six to seven foot high after a few years and again intoxicating perfume wafting around the garden and the colors of the flowers develop into this bright gold starting off a paler gold with white finishing off this very bright gold and a lovely contrast with the um, the dark center of the flower there we are you can see it with those um, stamens and uh, the stigma there uh, um, in the center of the flower gorgeous another tree lily here this is Debbie just growing at the other end of the garden lovely combination of red and orange even on the pollen there look you've got the two colors on the pollen matching the, the color of the petal there's there's that um, Good looking bloke again there having a good sniff. Uh, those must be at least seven foot tall there and a good old clump. Been there about uh, in that spot I would guess about five, six, maybe seven years. This is a new uh, variety to us anyway, recent. I only planted them in pots uh, a year or two ago, one called Rising Moon. Um, still in a pot but it's about time that went into a border because the flower stems are getting too tall for the pot so that's going to be another tree lily. You'll see me planting those in a moment on this video that um, uh, follows soon. Uh, nice, um, not quite a tree lily, but quite a strong growing lily. Rich uh, pink flowers there. That's Amorosiae. And uh, again, that has got a glorious perfume and a kind of two tone pink. Finally, this kind of um, pendulous um, lily here um, with uh, lots of flowers lasting well into late summer and these long, long stamens. That's Black Beauty, a pendulous. Um, Lily, as I say. So there we go. that's 10 of the best uh, lilies from our garden. Here's how we plant our lilies. First of all in the ground. There's my wife, um, bless her, um, digging a nice deep hole. They like good depth of, of well-drained uh, humus rich soil. So we dig a big hole um, and then get a bag of compost and tip uh, that into the, uh, into the hole as well. You only get one chance to plant so I, I would put as much as you can into the hole then mix that compost into the soil at the bottom of the hole and around the edges to encourage the roots to make their way out from the hole into the ground. Sprinkle, we like to use a slow release fertilizer there so you can see my beloved sprinkling a generous helping a slow release fertilizer to get those plants off to a good start in year one. In go the bulbs, there you can just see them there and uh, we're doing them a good six inches apart, maybe a bit more if they're going to be big uh, big uh, tree lilies. And then backfill the hole so that those bulbs are a good 
probably about six inches down um, underneath the, uh, the surface of the soil and then within a few years, <laughs> look at those, ah, that was a good bit of planting by my wife there wasn't it and um, the size of those shoots, we have to watch and just protect those shoots in the early spring about the stage they are there, if we get some wet weather um, just protect them from the, um, from the slugs which is not easy but that's covered in another one of our, our videos as is the other slight problem that can occur with lilies, the red lily beetle, again that's covered on another video which we'll send you a, put a link up at the end of this video, video for you to see. So now we're going to go out into the garden and watch uh, how we plant lily bulbs into pots rather than just in the ground. So uh, sit back and enjoy. Here it comes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> you know that I love my lilies. You've probably seen our other video clip with these pots full of lovely flowers last summer and these are all these uh, these shoots coming from for this summer um, this is in in spring actually we're at the last day of April the birds are singing uh, I would rather do this job in in March something like that uh, these are some nice new lily bulbs this is a new variety that I haven't uh, tried before just you might be able to see it as a little shoot just starting to come from the top of there so there's life in these bulbs and we're going to plant them into uh, into this pot here. It's important that you get good drainage um, in the, in your pots. Uh, this is a plastic pot. It's got quite a few decent holes on the bottom there. Um, so there's good drainage um, in this pot. If you're in another pot and there's not many drainage holes, you might need to put some um, some stones and things on the bottom of the pot just to allow for some uh, some drainage. And then you want to get some good some really good compost. Oh. It's important that you make some noises um, heaving the bag up there um, so that anyone who's watching can tell that you're working hard. Break down, break down the lumps there. Just give it a little, a little shake to settle it down. So you can see how much um, depth we've left there. And then we're gonna place our lily bulbs in here space them out. I reckon these will be okay in this pot for a couple of years. Um, we put in how many bulbs? One, two, three, four, five, six bulbs in. So within a couple of years we'll probably have um, uh, 15 shoots, something like that. Um, and then probably we'll need to think about putting them into a larger pot or putting them into a border somewhere or getting a new garden or something because I'm running out of room here. So. The roots obviously are going down towards the bottom, the shoot is going to come up from the top. We put them in position there and then this is nice wet compost and, uh, and there's some fertilizer in there. But you know me, I like to feed my plants. so. I've just pinched some of my wife's fertilizer, don't tell her, will you? Um, and we're going to sprinkle some of that over the top. This is a slow release fertilizer, so it gradually releases the nutrients and they'll wash down as we water or as, uh, as we get some rain. They'll wash down through the course of the summer to keep these things well fed. more compost on top. Lovely job. So that's our little, uh, our, oh, not a little, that's our nice big pot of lilies. Within a couple of years hopefully we'll have loads of shoots like that. And so a couple of years later here's how those uh, rising moon flowers looked in the summer. Gorgeous again, perfumed of course. Um, you get a bit more yellow on it as the, uh, as the flower fades. And they're quite a tall uh, flower so I need to get them out of those pots into uh, into a border because it's a nodding flower rather than poking up it's hanging down uh, it needs to be uh, given a bit of room so it can get as high as those other tree lilies and then I'll be able to walk underneath it get my nose underneath get some pollen all over my nose 
and uh, enjoy the, um, the, 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 the scent and the look from, from slightly underneath. Hope you've enjoyed this video and that you enjoy lilies in your garden. Any questions, any thoughts, criticisms, compliments, checks, anything like that you want to uh, send us, um, we'd love to hear from you via the comments box on YouTube. Thanks very much. Enjoy your garden. Bye.